Hi there, I'm John Leach, and you're watching Arc Fishing. All right, here's another update on my canoe. Now, I'm not after looks on this, I'm just after functionality. But I made a switch panel box. I want to paint it green, and then I want to screw that fast the seat so it's secure. But I'm going to take this out just to show you. But here's the switch panel. Um, that's the back side. But you take notice. Oh, we almost dropped it. <laughs> that's not cool. All right, hold on a second. So you take notice. It's got a amp gauge. It's got a cigar adapter. It's got a 12 uh, a USB port. Actually, it's got two of them. It's got six switches. They all light up. Let me um. Hold on a second. So, there you go. So you see it has dual USB port, cigarette lighter adapter, amp gauge, and six lighted gauges. It's a really cool thing. So, I have all my electronics hooked to this. But see, there's, without it, I'm going to screw that fast. I'm going to drill a hole in the back so I can run all the wires out to the back so you can't see them. I'm going to hide them out of the way. But this goes in here like this. I'm going to screw that fast. But there it is. Let's get in there. Like I said, I don't look professional. Boy. <laughs> It's not professional, but I'm not after professionalism. I'm just after functionality right now. I mean, maybe down the road I'll re make a new one and make it real nice professional, but right now I just want the function. That's my main objective right now. But there's another quick update on this canoe. And then uh, I'm gonna draw, not drill, I'm gonna draw, yeah, I'm gonna, <laughs> yeah, that almost made sense. I'm gonna drill holes through here, run screws down in here so it, it's secured fast, maybe even strap it. And then back here on the back side, I'm gonna put a bilge pump here and I'm gonna have the wires coming out. So I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do that yet. But I wanna put a bilge pump back there. Back here, I'm gonna eventually put uh these wires won't stay here. I'll just have them temporarily there. Alright, here's another quick update. Now everything's a mess it's because I've been doing a lot of tedious work, but I just installed these LE lights. This is the left side. I, I installed the left side last night, the right side tonight. I wanna make sure it lights up, so I just really quick um hooked it to the battery. Um, you can see all the wiring here, but I got all kinds of wiring going on, but I want to fix that. But I just want to give you a quick update. Uh-oh, <laughs> I just tripped on the wire. All right, hold on, I'll be back. Okay, as I was saying before, I tripped on the wire and actually unplugged it by accident. Um, everything's a mess, but just ignore the mess. I'll get that cleaned up and you'll see wires everywhere. Um, but this is another, many of the, one of the many modifications I'm going to do this canoe. I'm going to go up through here and turn the light out and see how cool it looks in the dark. But that's just the one side installed. Oh, check that out. That's cool. Now, I have one on the right side. I have it installed. I just got to run all the wiring. But, uh, dude, that looks so cool. Oh, I can't wait. It's getting there. And then I have the LEDs on the side here hooked up. I don't have, you can see right here where my finger's at, that's the red side. The other side's green. That's the navigation light. I got a I ran the wire here. I just got to hook everything up yet. But if you take notice, I want to hook it up so I can either run one LED green side or both. So I'm going to hook to two separate switches so I can choose to have it have one side on or the other side, or I can have both sides on, depending on how bright I want it. But it's getting there. I got a lot of modifications I'm doing to this canoe and I want to do to it. But it's going to be a real sweet setup when I'm done with this. But this thing's looking awesome, man. But you can see all the wiring I got in the canoe. Um, it's a hot mess right now, but it'll be real nice once done. I can't wait. Cannot wait. It's getting there. That, that is cool, though. All right, so here's another update. I got the navigation lights all hooked up around all the wires. It's pretty much ready to go. There's the front, there's the green side. There's the red side. Let me back up, see if you can see it better. There you go, now you can see both of them. There's both of them. And then back there's the rear LED navigation light. So there's the rear one. All right, so there's another update. I'm gonna hook up the, LED, the side LED lights next, so stay tuned for more. 
is another video update just ignore the fireworks I'm, i live by a three blocks from a baseball stadium and they're setting fireworks off so you hear that in the background but at any rate here is the front navigation lights inside led lights and then the rear led navigation light so everything's hooked up and installed ready to go it's got to do a few minor details but just do a walk by here so you see how now just ignore the wiring mesh because everything's just temporary so there's the rear navigation led light i have the american flag attached to it and then you can see my wiring nightmare down there that's not going to stay like that i will fix that and make that look professional that's just temporary but i'll give you a good laugh at any rate so then here's the inside led light so i can fish at night time go back towards the front i'll have those hooked on two separate switches right now i have everything hooked together and then here's the red side front led navigation light and there's the green side front led navigation light and then back out here you can see both of them i don't know if i get the right angle there we go and there's both both the front led navigation lights and then we back up and there's everything combined i have everything running on all one circuit right now i'm going to change that I just have it temporary to make sure everything's working but i'm going to let me go in here and show you something real quick i'm going to do professional and everything into this control panel right here and that, that control panel is going to light up too so what i'll do is when i flick this switch on that switch will light up green to tell me it's on i turn it off i'll turn it off so i'll have everything hooked up and done but this just want to show you a progress give you another quick update so it's getting there all right here's another quick update you got all the wires ran up ready to go all i need to do is get a few more clips but it's so close to being finalized so here's another quick update so i have all the navigation lights hooked up the led lights the control panel the bilge pump um fish finder everything transducer so here's the front led lights navigation lights so those are hooked up all ready to go then you'll take notice inside had the front led lights hooked up and ready to go that's for night fishing or early early late late evening and then i'll take notice i had the control box all set up and ready to go i'll show you more on that in a minute and over here i had the fish finder now i don't have it obviously it's not showing any fish because i don't have it in the garage or not in the water but uh, i have it the ranch there i forget what model it is off the top of my head but it's a brand new fish finder. i just bought that like a month ago and then uh here's the rear um led navigation light and then here's the here's what's really cool so let me turn these lights off you take notice let me turn all these off so it's telling me i have 12.5 amps for voltage i should say and uh so the green lights about tell me i got juice going to the switches so that's just telling me whether i got juice or not so the very first switch over here is my navigation lights i turn it on take notice the lights up now all my navigation lights work this switch is one side of the uh, LED lights, so that's going to be the starboard side. And then this side is going to be the port side. And that lights up, and there you go. So I have, there you go. So I could have either, I watch this, this is pretty cool. I can have either one side on, both sides on, or I can choose which side I want on. So I can have that side, or that side, both, or none. So it's pretty cool. One more thing I've got to mention, it has a dual USB port, so check that out. Even lights up so I can charge my GoPro batteries. And then over here, I'm close this. And then over here, cigarette lighter adapter, so I can plug like a spotlight or something if I wanted to. Um, but that's another cool feature too. So and I had a box here and I screwed the box into the seat so it stays secure so it don't go loose. Um, I was gonna strap it, but it seemed like screwing it fast like that just works so much better. So I'm real close. I strapped the battery down to take notice there. I strapped it. Um, I still need, I got. I ran out of clips. Of course I went to Lowe's to get clips. And they're sold out, the contractors keep buying them all, I think. Um, but I need more clips of this wiring. You take notice that side's done. And looks professional compared to this side. This side's very mature because I'm not done with it. I gotta get the clips yet, I ran out of clips. And then I got the wiring nightmare almost finished back here. I just gotta do a few more things and I'll put all that stuff inside this tubing right here. So it'll look right like that. See how professional it is? You, you can't tell, but I got a whole bunch of wires running through there. I think I got four going through there for now. I'll probably run probably two more through there yet. I eventually wanna put a live well in here and hook that up to switch. So right now there's four wires going through here. I'll eventually have six or more wires going through there. And that looks so much more professional. So all these loose wires like that, that looks very unprofessional. 
So let's get in there. That's real, real close to where I want it. Real close. All right, so check this out. This is what it looks like at nighttime. So I came back out, it's real dark, I turned the lights off. So there's the rear navigation light on. The inside LED lights, I have the fish finder on. Let's go to the front. And you'll take notice I have port side LED navigation light in the front. And the starboard side LED green light on the uh, starboard side. But here's a that is bright man. I'm loving it. Oh, and here's the the um, battery, and there's the junction box. Check that out. There's my switch panel. So the first one, only to if you're saying what I'm saying, the one to the left is for the navigation lights. The second one's for the starboard side green LED lights, and then the next one, the third one, is for the port side LED lights. So I can choose to have either side on or both on, which is really cool. And then uh, fish finder's mounted there, ready to go. Obviously, it's not working; it's not in water, but I mean, it works. It's just not not gonna find any fish in the cement. <laughs> but uh, this is awesome, man! I'm loving it. It's getting there. It's so close to where I want it. The wiring's getting to. I mean, it's still a mess, but I will have that fixed and I'll have that looking professional, just like that right there. And you take notice that side; you can't see any of the wiring, and that's exactly what I wanted. I have all that wiring taped up, secured and hidden with uh, screws, fasteners and tape. You can't see it. So this side, you can see the loose wire. See the loose wire there? I ran out of clips and of course I went to Lowe's to buy more and they're all out of them. They're sold out of them. So I gotta get more and then I'll hide that wiring and you'll never see that wiring. And then see how that's a nice professional right there? I'm gonna do that back here then. I'm gonna make that wiring look professional. So then as the seat goes there, here's my horn, but I gotta hit, finish up my horn button too. I got a horn. Um, here's my dry box. There's a container compartment underneath that fish funnel right there. Up here's the front seat, and up here's the horn. I'm out of the horn underneath the. F <laughs> so I'm gonna scare the heck out of my passenger. That's gonna be hilarious. But uh, now I got the battery strapped down. It's getting real close to being fully modified. It's gonna be a sweet setup once done. I can't wait. 